This week, Ming-Na Wen is back as Fennec Shand. Han Solo joins the game and more. Might wanna buckle up, baby. Yeah! Now that's a true artist. He's like an earthbound Max Rebo. And even though I could sit here all day and listen to him tickle his little ivories, we should probably get to the news. Guess who's making their way to Star Wars Pinball VR? That's right! Everyone's favorite smuggler turned rebel hero Han Solo. Set in the classic trilogy era, the brand new table features a massive Millennium Falcon playfield toy, Chewbacca tossing out extra balls like he's a starting pitcher at a Giants game, and a few of your favorite Han Solo lines. Here's where the fun begins. You're telling me! Be sure to get this free update starting today in Star Wars Pinball VR, available on all platforms. Shh. Spoilers. The Alphabet Squadron trilogy has come to an end, and today, over on StarWars.com, you can find an in-depth discussion with author Alexander Freed all about Erica Quell. Is she dead? Is she alive? Is she good? Is she evil? We've got the deets for those who dare and, you know, have read the trilogy and want to learn more about this ragtag crew of pilots. Check it out for yourself on StarWars.com slash ThisWeekNow. Yesterday brought us a brand new episode of Star Wars The High Republic Show, and just like usual, it was jam-packed with a slew of High Republic reveals. But we can't let them have all the High Republic era fun. Sorry, Christina. Feast your eyes on this special limited edition copy of Kevin Scott's upcoming book, The Rising Storm, exclusive to out of print. The art features Stellan Geo's double-fisting lightsabers about to go head-to-head -head with the Niles Lorna D with her own very most impressive weapon. Do you think when Jedi swing their lightsabers really fast like that, it just kind of acts like a fan? No? Never mind. For a closer look at the art and all the information on this exclusive cover, along with a specially designed tote, head to StarWars.com slash ThisWeekNow. On Friday, Cornered, the latest Star Wars The Bad Batch episode debuted on Disney+. Plus. This episode had it all. Vorpax? Yes. Clone Trooper dolls that made us long for Jyn Erso and her little pal Stormy? Also yes. And two words, Fennec Shand. Come on. This way. Ever since we saw Fennec in the trailer and got confirmation from Ming-Na Wen herself, we've been impatiently waiting for Boba Fett's future BFF to make her triumphant return. Unfortunately, what we found was Fennec Shand going after Omega. But we must protect her at all costs. Good thing Hunter, Wrecker, and the rest of the gang were on it, even if Fennec proved that she is quite the formidable opponent when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Oh, that had to hurt. Things are getting interesting out there in this post-Clone Wars galaxy. Don't forget to check out an all-new episode when it premieres tomorrow, streaming only on Disney+. And if you're hungry for even more intel about Clone Force 99, the official StarWars.com episode guides have you covered. Find out what last week's episode has to do with George Lucas's cameo character, Baron Papa Noida, and Star Wars Resistance racer Toradoza in the trivia gallery, and check out the episode gallery, some sweet new databank entries. Why, yes, we do have one on Clink, and our favorite quotes and episode highlights. Fans of The Mandalorian saw the return of one of the greatest bounty hunters of all time in the last episode of The Bad Batch, and we loved it. So much so that we had to ask head writer Jennifer Corbett and supervising director Brad Rao what it was like bringing Fennec Shan into the world of animation. Let's see what they had to say. When we see her in The Bad Batch, she's so awesome, but she's also just beginning her career as a bounty hunter. So playing around with what that means and how she accomplishes her goals is really interesting. Having Ming-Na Wen voice the character was so critical and so key, and she's just incredible. Hmm. Now that's the best offer I've had in a long time. And she had awesome thoughts about the design and how the hair worked. And it's just like, wow, yeah, Ming, now let's do everything you're talking about. I can help with that. Not to worry. Having the Bad Batch go against Fennec, and when we see the Bad Batch, how strong they are, and then she kind of just takes them down left and right. Like, ooh, it was really, really fun, dramatic storytelling. It speaks to just the Batch's skill set and how yeah. they're used to dealing with issues versus Fennec, because Fennec is street smart, and the Batch is more about battlefront experience, and those are two very different things. So you really get to see how she schools them, in a sense, but it's also part of of their growth and how they're learning to navigate in this galaxy as a different type of soldier. Thanks, you two. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Except not next Thursday, because we're taking a short break, but we'll be back in June. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.